Morning guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to hopefully the last video on the GSX-R600. We are so, so close to getting this finished. And to be honest, I think I probably would have got it done in the last video, minus the battery and the few bolts that we had missing at the fairing. But I didn't want to disturb my friend, he was out with his boys. So I decided we'd do another video on it and then obviously in this video I'd like to take it out, get it out on the road and have a run on it and make sure that everything is okay. So where we left off last time was we needed to buy a new battery for it. Well I've popped over to John's to get the rest of the bolts for the fairing. He has got a complete fairing set there for a thousand and he's laid it out and gone round and chose me every single bolt that holds on both side panels and some extras. So we should now have everything that we've got. I have run the other video by him and showed him a few little bits and he told me that one of those wires is, it shouldn't be curled round like it is. So I'll be changing that in this video. So I'd like to get this buttoned up, get it cleaned off and get it out on the road for a ride. I did just have another bit of luck while I was at John's. I said, oh, I do need a new battery. Have you got one here? And he said, yeah, I'll, I'll change them all the time. And he had five or six, because he puts the lightweight ones in for racing. So he's given me a battery. I've put it on charge. It is completely dead, but fingers crossed that does take a charge and we'll be putting that on. And it is the right one for the sports bike. So hopefully that does the trick. So I'm not gonna waffle on too much. We're gonna crack straight on, get the bike turned round and get, well, we're gonna get this side bolted on first. He said, I can do one side at a time. They don't have to be bolted together. So I'm gonna bolt this side in and then we'll turn the bike around and we'll get on and get the other side done. So I was quite lucky there. There was uh, there's a couple of bolts that are irrelevant to it. I'm not sure what they are, but there was one bolt missing and it was a really small one that goes under here. So Chris has got pots and pots of new nuts and bolts. So I managed to find one that fits it nice, put a washer each side of it, a lock washer and a nylock nut. So we're quite good there. And I've been thinking about like the safety aspect of it. Even though it was only plastics and stuff like that that's removed, this is still basically a really, really powerful machine. And it needs to be absolutely 100%. So I did do the MOT history check on it. And it's come up that it's actually MOT till October. But I've looked into that and the MOT actually run out this month but it's been given the government six month extension. And I don't really, I, I want it to go and have an MOT and be checked over. That way I know. So the motorbike shop is open. I am gonna try and book it in. Obviously I am gonna have to ride it there, but it'd be really nice if I could take it there, get it checked over and know that it is absolutely 100% before I get on it and actually ride it, you know, properly, take it out. So I'm gonna get that battery on there shortly, and that is gonna be the last bit. They certainly fit a lot better then when you put them on the right side. I'm gonna chuck the battery on now. It has took a little bit of a charge, so fingers crossed that does do the trick. Sorry, I know I've just gone out of shot there. I'm just gonna turn that camera around a bit so it can see me, yeah, it can. I'm going to ring them up, get it booked in, and then hopefully that will be the end of it, and hopefully they don't pick nothing up, because if they do, I am going to say to them in the shop, 
if it does need any little bits and bobs, can they do it while it's there? Because there's, and maybe even an oil service. I know I reached out in that other video, see if someone wanted to check it over, but I'll say it is due an MOT, so we might as well just do that. And that, that is pretty much a safety inspection in itself anyway, isn't it, the MOT? So I'm just bolting this battery on. We're gonna put the seat on. There's no bits left, so I'm done as much as I can do with it. I do hope this battery works. There is, was a little click there, so fingers crossed. We do this up and I'll fire it up. Make sure it's got enough oomph in it to start it up. I thought there'd be a strap around that battery, but there's not. Yeah, we're all right. That's perfect. I know you shouldn't start something up and turn it off straight away, but... How about that? We've got these last two bolts and we are done. Sorry, right, let me know what you think about me cutting in and doing it a little bit more live like this. It's not something that I normally do, but we're trying to change things a little bit. We're not trying to change, just trying to improve, you know, with every video. It'd be really nice if we get bits in that other people want to see, like little bits like this. I know it's pretty irrelevant, you can't really see what I'm doing, but it's nice to get on, do the work, and chat at the same time. That way I'm not cutting in, chatting, telling you what I've been up to, and then putting it on time lapse and going to something else. So yeah, please let me know what you do think. We are nearly here, we've got the last bolt going in. And that is it. It has got quite a lot of little marks on it. Tell you what, let's get it outside, give it a wash, and then we'll have a look round it. just made sure it started straight up i remember when i had the thousand i took it to the car wash <coughs> the jet wash system there and luckily the bike was quite warm but it wouldn't start after so i ended up sitting there for best part of 20 minutes waiting for it to air dry but where they've thrown these on the floor you can see there's a lot of scratches a lot of little scuff marks on them and i think the majority of it will polish out Again, it is 13 years old, so does it want to be absolutely concourse? There's quite a lot of little scuffs and bits on this. I've noticed one on here when I washed it, and it's all where it's just been thrown on the floor. But I will be hand polishing it, obviously, off camera at a later date when I take it home. But it has all come up really nice. There's no dents in it anywhere, which is lovely. I did just let it warm up when I bought, bought it out here. And I've noticed, I don't know if you bikers can hear it, I'm just gonna attempt to wedge my leg here to start it up. Now it's warmed up, it starts hunting. I don't know if that's serious, 1000 certainly didn't do that. It's staying running, but you can hear it hunting. The rev counter's not really moving. You can see I've got it up to 48 degrees now. Sounds lovely, just don't know if that hunting's an object. Maybe I'll ask them when I go around the motorbike shop, but there it is. 
I'm gonna ring up now, get it booked in for an MOT, get it took round there and see if we've done everything as we should. Like I said, there's no bits left over, no screws, no bolts or nothing. And every single place that's got a hole for a screw, it seems to be in there or a bolt. So fingers crossed, we've nailed it and it is all back together. Guys, as usual, one thing leads to another. I'm in the middle of doing one video and, and then doing another one and I completely missed a bit of this video out. I didn't actually miss it, so to speak. We did rig up the camera. And I did say last night in the live chat, the footage was terrible. So we're not gonna be using that. The bike has been round at Colwyn Motorcycles. They've done a full check over on it. It's had an oil service, oil filter, and they've been right through, inspected everything. And after they've done that, I asked them to MOT it. And I'm happy to say it went straight through the MOT. So it is that time. I've got my helmet. I've got my boots on, I've got my Kevlar on. I'm gonna take it for a nice run and see what it's really like. So as you would have seen there guys, that bike has come out absolutely lovely. It couldn't be any better. I'm so happy with it. And I've just written down exactly what it owes me and it's incredible what it owes me really. Um, I've cut in now, obviously we are gonna do the numbers on it. And I promised you that I was going to do a bit of video in riding it and show you what it went like and also I mean there's, there's not really any excuse for it when I first you know after the first few months of YouTube I thought you know we need to get a bit of a GoPro and I bought one of these off of eBay for about $18.99 and it said 4k and it was meant to be a really good camera and it is I mean you can see it there I can see it in the screen it is terrible let's just press play on that and you can see how poor it is so what i am going to do is i'm going to put this on the bench and again i can't make any excuses it is the best i've got i'm not going to try and strap the phone to my crash helmet or on the bike anywhere so this is going to be the only footage of me riding it, unless I see any of you out on the road, of course. So we'll do this. I'm going to show you a little bit of it, and then we'll do the numbers on the bike, and I'll let you know my plans for it. just want to stress obviously it looks a lot faster than what I was going I didn't break any speed limits at all and it just sounds like it's going really really fast it is a really loud bike it's got a loud exhaust on it and uh, I didn't break any speed limits if anyone was worried and as you would have seen in the video as well there was not one other car on the road so that was really nice as well so that bike my friend had actually been offered a thousand pound for that bike. And straight away, as soon as he said it, I was like, well, that's, a bit, that's a bit low ball. And then he said, no, there's bits of it missing. So I thought, could you still buy a frame, an engine? He's got all the paperwork for it. It's not recorded for a thousand pounds. And I thought, no, you can't. You wouldn't be able to buy an engine for that, I shouldn't think. And I said to him, what do you want for it? He said, well, I want a bit more than that for it. I said, well, what about if I go and collect it, etc." And he said, uh, sorry, I had to put that in. People say that I always say it, so I had to put it in there. I said, look, we'll go and collect it. We'll deal with it all. And he said, make me a bid. So, look, I know you probably think this is low ball, but at the end of the day, I hadn't, you know, I didn't know what was missing. I didn't know what was coming with it. So I said, would 1100 buy it? And he said, if you're going to get it and you're dealing with it and it is, you're buying it as it is, where it is, no matter what, you can have it for 1100. So I paid the man and I went and collected the bike. So to go and collect it, it was 50 pounds. We put diesel in Chris's truck plus the toll. Um, the screens, the, the clips and fixings obviously john 
give to me and he wouldn't take any money. So I'll give his little boys 10 pound each. So that's 20 quid. But I ain't even gonna count that. And Colwyn's, I took it round there and I had a full inspection. I had them go right over it. So I spent a couple of hours on it. Um, what else did they do? Oil and filter and an MOT. Obviously, again, I'm in the trade. I know him really well. And I have, he has sold quite a few of my bikes for me on an SOR basis. And he has always sold them. So my last thousand went there and the Harley went there. So the total that bike owes me is £1,330. And I don't think you could buy that bike for that money anywhere in the world. That was one of the best bargains I've ever had. I think that that bike is worth an absolute minimum of £3,000, but could be worth this time of year up to £4,000. I did take it out yesterday for a couple of hours. Um, unfortunately, my other friend who's got a bike was working, so he couldn't get out, so I did go out on my own. And I got quite bored after about an hour and a half. It does get very, very boring on your own. But I do like the bike. It's insured, it's taxed, it's got a new MOT on it. So, And for the money it owes me, I quite happily leave it in my garage and use it as and when I need to. But I did come in this morning and said to Chris, I said to my missus, do you want to go out for a ride? And she said, I'm not getting on the back of that bike. It's too high up and she don't really like it. But when I had the Harley, she loved getting on the back of it and we used to go out. So I have been having a little look at some Harleys, a 48, what I had before. And so there is a good chance if I find one I like, I am going to sell that bike or I'm going to trade it in. But at the moment, what a lovely bike for £1,330. I couldn't be happier. And I'm sure all of you would agree that was an absolute bargain. If I did miss anything in the video that you wanted to know or you wanted to see, please do drop it in the comment section and I will get back to you. I know there's going to be bits I missed. I would have loved to have filmed more. But this is absolute joke. It's, it's rubbish. I paid £18 for something to put in the bin. <coughs> Not only did I pay £18 for it, I had to go and buy this. And it was an additional £15. So, absolute waste of time. I'm going to buy a nice GoPro, like I said the other day. And we're going to have that up in the workshop. So, yeah, if I've missed anything, drop it in the comments section and I'll definitely get back to you. If you did enjoy this video, please do give us a thumbs up. We really do appreciate it, and it shows your appreciation. Check out the merchandise. The link is in the description. This T-shirt is not available in the merch store. Sorry, so many of you asked about this T-shirt. It's from River Island seven years ago, and it is just a work T-shirt. Sorry. Instagram. Follow us on Instagram for the little sneak peeks throughout the day, the Selvage Rebuilds. Like, subscribe and share. Thank you all again very much for watching and we'll see you very soon in the next one.